Hey, what's up guys, it's Dylan Vanitz, and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about success in life and the strategy to perform at a high level. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe because on this channel, I talk about making money online, becoming an influencer, and strategies and success. Ever since I was young, Nah, no, just kidding. <laughs> but I have always known that I wanted to do something more than just working a regular job. The problem, however, is society has conditioned me and most other people to follow the typical traditional system. My dad was a dentist, his dad was a dentist, so naturally I was supposed to be a dentist. I was primed to go to college and do what I was told to do, and I didn't even know what was an alternative path. But when I was 16, I went to this leadership program and saw successful entrepreneurs and my whole world opened up. I realized that you can be an entrepreneur and do that as a career. I then spent the next several years studying how people became successful entrepreneurs. I looked back in the past and studied successful people in past generations. And I looked at modern times and found people who are successful now. I also looked around me and made associations with people in my life who were more successful than me. I basically went through and made sure that I could learn what it takes to become a success and then I modeled after it. Success leaves clues and I followed them. I read the books that people recommended to me, I did the action steps that I was told to do to get towards true success, not the system of success. And what ended up happening is I ended up creating a life of my own with my own visions, my own dreams, and my own happiness. I didn't just create everything myself. I did what I call R&D or rob and duplicate. I looked at what other people were doing that was succeeding and then I modeled after it. Rather than create mediocrity, why don't you copy genius or even better, copy genius and improve on it. The definition of success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So what that really means is that success isn't obtained, it's pursued. That could be why in our society so many people feel like failures or feel like they've never actually achieved anything. I call it I'll be happy when syndrome. People always say, I'll be happy when I've achieved this, 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 or this, when in reality, they're never actually going to be happy. Now, the tangible success that I'm striving for in my life is a high level of performance in all categories of my life. For me, that's health, that's finances, that's my personal development, and that's my relationships. So in my life, I'm looking to achieve a high level 1% of achievement in those four categories. When you're creating your own plan for your life success, you're gonna to wanna to find other people that you can look up to and model after them. Some of the people that inspire me are Noah Kagan, Ryan Pineda, Graham Stephan, Andre Jick. These guys are YouTubers that I like to watch their content and then try to find elements of it that I like and incorporate into mine. When it comes to podcasts, I like watching Joe Rogan. He is a little bit controversial, but the reality is he helps people think differently and critically think for themselves, which is really important when it comes to success. On social media, let's think like Instagram and TikTok. I'd say just find creators and people that you resonate with, people that have had videos go viral and see what's working for them and then just copy it. I don't think you need to recreate the wheel. I think it's better for you to see what's working and just make it a little bit better. Now, I'm a big believer that the more you learn, the more you earn, and so I believe in reading books and self-educating myself, and so here are my top four book recommendations. Number one, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Number two, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Number three, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. And number four, it's called You Are the Placebo by Dr. Joe Dispenza. If you start investing in yourself in the form of time from reading and money from buying those books, you're gonna start to learn and earn more money. Everybody has their own idea of what they want in their life. The reason my life is the way it is is because I wanted to be a successful entrepreneur. So I created the systems in my life that modeled after that. Why do I wake up early? I wake up early, I then meditate, I read a book and I hit the gym. It's because I read articles about what it takes to be successful in business and that's what all these successful CEOs and entrepreneurs were doing. So I would challenge you, figure out what that journey is for you. Like, what do you want as far as your own success? It doesn't have to be business. It doesn't have to be entrepreneurship. What it has to be is just your own journey. If it's acting, study successful actors and then model their life, model the, model the systems that they did in their life and what created their own success. Model your own success journey. Typically, influencers are always on some form of stage. As your brand grows bigger, you will have people coming up to you. They'll recognize you. They'll ask you for photos and stuff like that. So you need to consider the fact that your life is always going to be in the spotlight and you are always on a stage. 
your business and income is no longer just a nine to five. You don't get to detach from it. Your business and income becomes your life. The thing with being an influencer or creator is this is now your job. This isn't like a, I'm gonna post when I feel like it. No, this is not, I gotta post because I gotta post. This is my business. With jobs, you show up whether you want to or not. You have a schedule and you make it happen. And so the most successful influencers and creators I know show up every single day whether they want to or not, like what I'm doing right here, right now, making this video. So for you guys, make sure you're showing up, make sure you're putting the time in, and again, with the successful people I see, if they're at a party on a Friday night and they know they have to post on Sunday, they're gonna go home early so Saturday they can work, they can script, they can edit, and then they can post in time for their scheduled release. Make sure if you have a schedule, you stick to it and do not fall from it no matter what happens in your life. Some people put 20, 30 hours into every single piece of long form content that they put out. Now, if you're doing even two pieces of content a week, that's 40 to 60 hours, not even including extra stuff like split testing, negotiating brand deals, or posting on other platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Now, by no means is this whole thing a get rich quick scheme. It is a long winded plan that you have to put time and energy into in order to succeed. When it comes to getting on the fast track to success, I like to do what I call reverse engineering other people's wins. So I look at what other people are doing more than what they're saying. Whenever someone gives advice, even what I'm saying right now, there's some sort of intrinsic bias that skews what they're saying uh, in order for whatever their, their motive is. And so really watch what people are doing as well as what they're saying, but more so what they're doing and then copy that rather than just listening to what they say. In stepping into the journey of moving towards success in your life, you're gonna to have to be extremely conscious of what you're doing in your life. There are things that are time wasters, like for me, that used to be video games, and I cut that out. And so be conscious of what those time wasters are for you in your life and trim the fat. You're gonna really have to put effort and time and energy into moving towards success because look, most people aren't successful, and if you're gonna ask me why, I think it's because success is simple, but it's not easy meaning you have to do a lot of things in order to get there, but it's not a hard process to figure out. It's hard to actually take the daily actions over and over again. So that's my belief on success, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and in the next episode, we're gonna talk about some really cool stuff when it comes to being an influencer and creator online.